Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I probably look so crazy right now. <laughs> but we are going to talk about how... Ooh, I look so crazy coming on here. Yes, I do. <laughs> but we're going to talk about... Um, we're going to talk about Fashion Week and how that went. Um, if you're not aware, my clothing line is their premiere on the runway at New York Fashion Week, right? Um, I wanted to talk about the process, the coincidences, all that fun stuff. And then while I'm talking about it, I'm going to be doing my skincare with you guys. Because my skin, look at that. Look at this. People always be like, oh my God, then you got such good skin. But I have days where my skin is just so bad. Let me... We got situations where the light is not lighting, honey. Hold on. I think that's a little better. Okay. So, this is what my skin is looking at, looking like right now because, besides my skin tags, but because um, I'm stressed. So, why are we not focusing? There we go. So, um... Because of stress, I tend to get like spots and pimples, look at that, and stuff on my face. So when my skin does get like this, I usually clean my face off. I'm coming from the gym right now. But I usually clean my face off with the Garnier Micellular Water. Focus, honey. Focus! She doesn't want to focus. I will put it in my Amazon store so y'all could see. I'm so ashy. Oh my God. She does not want to focus. But look, how you focus far away? I'm going to have to fix this camera. Um, but it's the Garnier Micellular Cleansing Water with Vitamin C. If you got sense, wow, I have to be all the way back here for you to focus this. Really? Really, you want to do this to me right now? <laughs> um, but. My cellular water by Garnier, the cleansing water, so I'm gonna use that. And I am using the wipes by Clean Skin. Let me tell y'all how I'm obsessed with these tissue wipes. Um, I ordered them from Clean Skin because people were like, oh my gosh, these wipes are so good, blah, blah. But they actually are good. They don't rip when you wet them. They're super strong. It's not like paper towel where they rip. And I had bought them in the big behind container because I was like, how could you not? <laughs> the internet made me do it. Okay, but look how cute this is. And it pulls out, right? And this is how it looks when you pull it out. Can we talk about skincare etiquette now? Some of y'all be complaining I got pimples, but look, I had this in my hand. I washed my hands already, but I touched this with it. I put it under and I'm showing you guys, guess what? I'm not gonna use this because I put it under here. I didn't, no. So we're gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a new one from my container, right? And excuse my ashy fingers. My eczema is just she disrespectful. Um, but yeah, that's this is how cute it is. So let's talk about Fashion Week. Hold on, I'm trying to see. Maybe, can we do this? Can we do this? Hold on. I think that might be way better for us to do. Okay, that is better. So we're gonna continue. So I'm just cleaning my face off with this. We gotta get these bumps off my face. And this is normally what works for me is to do a cleanse with some type of water or sometimes I use toner and then just clean. Look how dirty. That's nasty. Using the back. I'm just gonna clean. So yeah y'all, let's talk about Fashion Week. So my clothing line was on the runway for New York Fashion Week, right? Let me tell y'all the backstory and how How the experience was super amazing. 
I had imposter syndrome, everything. So let me, let me start from the beginning. So April 3rd, my mommy passed away. Um, that was traumatic enough, but I had told my mom that, you know, I remember like the week before she passed, I text her and I was like, I was like, mommy, I'm going to try to do something. Um, but I need you to be there. So just be there. And she was like, okay. And I was like, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I'm going to do it. And then like a couple days after I was like, I was like, mommy, this is what it is. Um, you better be there. And she was like, she laughed and she was like, okay, baby. Um, if God's willing, I will be there. So I remember that day. And I remember exactly what I was doing. I was driving to the gym, texting and driving her. Don't do that. Hmm. Texting and driving her, driving and talking to her on um, WhatsApp. Lord, I hope I don't cry in this video. Um, so, <laughs> um, and I remember when she said, if God's willing, mommy will be there. And I remember getting so angry that she said that. And that should have been my tall tale sign to let me know, like, sis, something coming up. And it's soon. Um, but I remember getting so angry that she said that. Not because, like, my mom, like, she'll stop whatever she's doing to come in, like, be around me or do certain things with me. So it's not like, my mom it has always been there for every situation, every little thing that I have. She'd be like, oh, mommy's coming. But this situation, she said if God's willing and I'm like why would you say that you've been to every other thing that I've ever had why would you say it bothered me so bad so I was like I was like okay I'm just let it rock the following week she dies right so I was traumatic so traumatic um after she passes away I was like so my birth, she died April 3rd, my birthday's May 3rd. A little bit after my birthday, I was like, damn. Now because I told mommy that I was gonna do it, I gotta figure out a way to do it. So I'm wrecking my brain, cause we broke. Okay, I didn't. Everybody be like, oh, nurses have money. No, baby, we got bills. We got mortgages, car payments, car insurance. We got to buy groceries. We got to take care of ourselves. We got to do maintenance. Maintenance on ourselves. Hair, nails, toes, skincare, smell good. Buy the things to make you. Like, people be thinking we have so much money. That's not true. Anyway, so broke as hell. And I'm like, I got to do fashion week. How am I going to do this? And I promised mommy I was going to do it. How am I going to do this? But anyway, I'll tell you guys another story as to how I ended up doing it. But um, we're going to focus on how Fashion Week was. So, got in the door and um, had to get hooked up with the team that takes over for Fashion Week. And they're like, um, this is what I'm using for my face to do my face mask. They're like, you know, I'm going to put it on my hand so that it's easy application. Ooh! So they're like, um, welcome to New York Fashion Week. Um, this is your team that will be assisting you with making sure that everything happens. So I signed up for Fashion Week May, my birthday was May 3rd. I signed up for Fashion Week the 19th of May. And Fashion Week didn't start until September. May, June, July, August, September. Right? Keep in mind we're broke. So... <laughs> So I'm like, I'm like, all right, God, all I got is determination and a dream. So I was like, I told mommy I was going to do this. Now I need you to pull through because you, you a provider, right? So I'm holding you to your word. And plus you show me how big of you, of a God you are so many times in my dreams. When I tell y'all. God does not play about me. Like, everybody be, this is off topic, but everybody be like, oh, they want to call their boyfriend daddy. Got it. You know who I call daddy? God. I be like, like you see how people be like, oh, I asked God. I be like, yo, I asked daddy and he, he, you know, literally, I'm not lying. I be in my house. My boyfriend's not here. 
and I be having full blown conversations with God like daddy so I was at work the other day and so and so had me up okay like full blown conversations um, because getting on my knees and praying doesn't work for me but I know that I need to talk to God so that's my way of talking to God I know some people are going to be like you can't talk to God like that well then do it your way I'm going to do it my way but it's work for me because I could never deny God and say that he doesn't exist because baby some of the miraculous situations that I've had happen to me you would never believe like my my best friend Gabby I can tell her that type of stuff because she experiences stuff like that too it's her and my other friend but my outside friends that don't really understand that God would literally get off his throne for for you and make it do what it do and go back up listen that's why I be telling people God don't play about me. But anyway, so I was like, God, you know, I told mommy I was going to do this. I'm going to need you to slide through, come through, make it work, make it do what it do. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I ain't got no looks. All I, all I have is a, a dream and determination. And I was like, I'm just going to trust in you because we broke too. And I already told a bunch of people to slide on through, come to the, to the, to the fashion show. I ain't got no looks to give nobody. I, I had to order my, my shoes from China for the fashion models that I had um, selected. And I was like, I was like, God, we running out of money. <laughs> we running out of money, daddy. Come on, what we doing? But anyway, everything worked out. Um, so anyway, we signed up for fashion. I signed up for fashion week. And then they're like, this is the, um, this is the team that's going to be helping you with fashion week. This and third, da, 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 da. And I was like, okay, cool. So what they do is they give you, this is for anybody that wants to do fashion week and you are a clothing brand. I'm letting you know the ins and outs. This is with one with runway seven, not with CFDA, even though I looked on CFDA, CFDA website and they had like the brands listed. And I was like, oh, so there's two types of fashion week. There's one way seven and then there's the official. So I think you have to start with runway seven before they continue, they consider you for CFDA. I don't know, I'm guessing. If you know, let me know, put it in the comments and, I, and we'll talk about it. Um, so, meet the team and they give you this list, to-do list. That list pissed me off because, anyway, we'll start off slow. They give you this to-do list and they're like, these are the dates that we need certain things by. Certain things pertaining to we need your logo and we need it transparent so that we can put it on your screen when your models went down the walkway. We need music for you in a music file. We need your VIP list for influencers. We need um, we need a couple of pictures of your clothing line that's out already. We need pictures of you. We need um, what else? Um, what else did they ask for? That's for one more thing, but I can't remember exactly what it was. So I think I just listed like maybe six or seven things. And I, I signed up in May. It's not until September. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping these people are going to have integrity. Not even hoping. I was sitting there like, these people are going to have integrity because we got until September. So everything is running smoothly. And the only thing at that time I was worried about was getting my looks together. So I was like, okay, boom, this is easy. Figure out the looks. I have my little sketchbook. If you go on my Instagram, you see like I took my time sketching the looks. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. I took my and I did not want to use the clothing that I already had on my website. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get my because I already I had a painting pad book and I was like, I'm just gonna use this to sketch my looks. So I sketched my looks all seven because I had the seven looks package. All seven looks. By the way, you can do packages. They had five looks, seven looks, ten looks, twenty, and thirty. And then the high, the more looks you had, the more money you paid. I was like, I'll do the seven. But you know me, I'm in a bargain. I said, what do I get with the seven looks? Because I'm just going to have, like, what am I getting? And then the lady was like, all right, well, you, you'll get models from us. And you'll get all your Getty images, right? And I was like, what about video? And then she was like, ah, I had to work that out. Hold on. So I don't know what she did, but she came back and she came back and she was like, all right, you can you can have a video with us. You don't have to worry about the video. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, so, did that. So, 
I'm sketching out the looks and everything and I'm paying attention because the one thing about me, fashion is my thing. Any other stuff, like I won't care to plan out the dates because I don't care. But fashion is my thing, clothing is my thing. So I was like, ooh, great, I get to be in my realm. So I wrote, do I have it? I'll show you guys in another video. But on my iPad, I downloaded this app, right? And in the app, you can put certain dates down as to when something is due. And it's cute and simple so that like as soon as you touch it, if you go left, you did it already. If it goes right, your task, it still needs to be completed. If you go up, um, you need to reschedule it. And then I think if you go down, you can change the reference of that tab to something else, right? It's such a cute app, but I'll show you another one because I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm sketching out my looks. I'm paying attention to the dates coming up. I think the first one was um, send your logo. So I sent the logo transparent. I was like, oh, that's easy. I can do it on Canva. Boom, done. Sent that. The second thing was um, send us a couple of your looks so that um, when we promote you on our Instagram page, social media, you know, people have something to look at and to look forward to. I was like, oh, that's easy. So I sent them um, pictures of what I already had out on my website. So sent them that. Mind you, people think that you have to have a photographer take it. No, boo -boo, I use my cell phone on a tripod stick because Dana does not have money. <laughs> so that's what I did. And the pictures, people, they were like, oh, these pictures look really nice. Um, this, that, and that. And I was like, oh, thank you, whatever. Sent the pictures in. Then they were like, um, oh, the third thing was, and everything was going to plan because I'm following the calendar that you guys gave us and I put it in my iPad in my little app thing so I can make sure I'm keeping up with what you guys are asking me for. So now it's the, um, what do you call it? The mood board. So they're like, we need a mood board for your models. You need to let us know which models will have what makeup and which models will have what hairstyle. I was like, oh, easy, boom. Went to Canva, did the mood boards for the models that were doing specifically mental health and the models that were just walking down the runway representing mental health, right? So I had one model that she was doing a scene on the runway. She had to have soda cans in her hair um, and um, you know, a muumuu dress on, it represented, it was supposed to represent what it represented, right? Sent the mood board in, then they were like, oh, we don't understand your mood board. I said, okay. So, and they sent you this in the Google file. So I was like, okay, I went in the Google file and I typed in the Google file, these models will have this, this model will have this hairstyle, this model will have this makeup. And I um, contacted the director that was over my line. And I was like, please make sure that you can see what I'm requesting. And she was like, okay, cool. We got it. Everything's good. I was like, okay, boom. Next thing, send in your video. But what they tell you initially, they're like, we have an overall video that we can use for you while your models are walking down the runway. If for some reason you want to make your own video, let us know. Blah, 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 blah. So they send the um the video that they would like you know brands to use coming down the runway so i saw the video i opened the video in the google file i looked at it i was like absolutely not it looked like a it was a, um who's making my nose itch it was a gradient video gradient means like it has like a rainbow kind of color and the color just fades out as you look from left to right right so it was a gradient video and then my logo was in the center and the gradient was just moving like in motion. And I was like, absolutely not. That's not what I'm going for. So I was like, I will send you guys my video. Here's where the drama come in. I had to pause because it, woo. So I sent in my video. If you're not aware what my video was about, go to the previous video before this. That video will show you that I did mental health, a mental health video. Which, by the way, when the show was done, I kid you not, I had my period. That was the first problem. <laughs> Second problem, I had to pee so bad. So after we got off the runway, 
I'm trying to find my way to the bathroom, mind you. And that, in that, um, in that runway area setting, there's only one bathroom on the first floor. I'm running to the bathroom. Everybody's like, "Oh my God, your your show was so great! Like you don't know, you don't understand. You touched me. People were crying and hugging me, and I was like." I have my period and I have to pee and I have heavy periods. Come on. <laughs> I was trying to be so like understanding, but I was like, I got to go to the, and I was wearing white. You know, if you get red on a white dress, it is over for you. It was, and it wasn't white. It was off white. So I was like, I got to catch it before it catches me. So I'm hugging people. I'm like, hold on, Christ. I understand. It's totally okay. Um, You know, I had to tell my story in order for the video to get across and put fashion with it so that people understand like fashion is not just about looking good you know how people say oh if you look good you feel good that's partially true because like for example me i can put on the cutest outfit and i feel like crap inside if you don't deal with the demons that's going on in you the pain the trauma that's going on in you and you put on the clothes and you smiling up the smiling up the place and you going home and you broken and you crying and you and that's what I was portraying in the video. But anyway, so I said, um, I don't want to use that video. I want to use this video instead. So I did the video. I submitted the video on time. Remember, because I'm going by the calendar that they gave us. Submitted the video on time. And it was two videos in one. Um, and they were saying that um, your video has to be the length of the amount of models that you have walking. So I had seven models, so it had to be seven minutes. It could go a little bit over, but try to keep it at seven minutes. Um, one minute per model to walk up and down the runway. So I was like, okay, cool, easy, got it. Sent my message in the video, sent an acting video of me in bed, and then did um, the one with me putting on the hat in the video. Sorry, my camera keeps doing all of this lighting in and out. Bear with me. So send the video to them. I get a message. Hey, Dana, um, is it possible that we can just use a video that we sent you originally with the gradient and your logo? And I was like, no. And I was like, what's the issue? And then she goes, well, um, we understand what your video is trying to portray, but um, you know, it just seems like your introduction is too long. So I said, I said, okay, what's your introduction, Max? And she goes, um, we, we need to have the models walking max by, I think she said 20 seconds or so. And I was like, what's your max? And she was like, 40 seconds. And I was like, okay. I said, okay, so models could walk at 40 seconds. Ask me again, another day. Is it okay? You're sure you're, sure you're okay? You're not okay with using the gradient video that we sent you? No, I don't want to use that. What about if we use the gradient video and put the tribute to your mother at the end of the video? Is that okay? No? Don't want to do that either. All right, well, um, we're just trying to um, help your brand and we're trying to make it so that um, for the, what did she say? For the other, for the media that will be there, the Getty images and the other magazines that will be there, we're just trying to make sure that like, you know, we don't, you, your brand doesn't have like a, um, I forgot how she stated it, but she was kind of like trying to say like, we need your models to walk at a certain time. And in addition to that, we kind of want to make sure your video doesn't have a bad taste in the media that's going to be there in their mouths because, um, of the fact that you're waiting so long to have your models walk i was like i just said the models could start walking at 40 seconds and she's like all right i just wanted to make sure and i said but use my video appreciate it then we now it's time to submit music i am stressed out because i'm like i do not know how to do this music thing so me and my friends, we are looking up how to put music together. I chose three songs, put music together, couldn't do it. So I called him my homeboy. I said, please help me. I know you could put music together. Please help me. So he did it. Um, took him a while to do it, but he actually did it. That stressed me out for a little bit. But I understood because he's busy. Now, when they started stressing me out is when I started, what's the word, act black? 
first of all y'all already have an issue with me because i'm presenting mental health and you guys feel as though i gotta do what y'all say no so now they're like um we need you guys to submit your vip list so i got real ugly i said hold on according to the calendar the vip list is not supposed to be put into the google drive until august 15th it is august 5th what where's the disconnect so i go back into the google drive where they originally had the calendar set up the calendar is gone so I said, and another thing, you guys don't seem to have much integrity because now the calendar that you guys really originally had put up is missing. Where's the integrity? And I said, I'm military. When something is put up on a calendar, everybody has to adhere to it or else you have no integrity. It's not, oh man, we need to sooner take down the calendar and make it seem as though the calendar wasn't there. I went off. I said, do you understand what a VIP list is? And they were like, oh, we understand. It's just that, you know, things happen and things change. I said, things happen and things change, but do it the correct way. Do it so that you hit us up first and say, hey, we know that the, the um, VIP list is, is supposed to be due on the 15th. But we, we would like some of you, if you can, to submit it now. Right? It's due on the 15th, and I think they started messing with us on the 5th or something like that. And I remember it was super early because I was like, oh, I got 10 days to figure this out. And I said, do you guys understand what a VIP list is? VIP list that you guys are asking for is for us to get influencers to come out to Fashion Week. First of all, these influencers have 10,000 messages in their DMs, in their emails. It's going to take time for them to comb through to see who wants them to come where. You cannot ask me for a VIP list. And these are famous people that have 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 1 million followers. They're busy people. You cannot ask me for on the 5th to give you a list by the 6th. That's not going to work. Oh, well, you know, uh, we just we just thought that we needed that. We just thought that it would be beneficial to have the list earlier so that we can make the tickets. I said, I understand, but you're missing the integrity part. So another woman came on and she was like, um, Dana, we don't mean to be um, to stress you out in any way possible because you know that you guys are working on your designs. Um, we're just trying to get the ball rolling because, you know, we want to make sure we have enough tickets and seats for people to come. I said, I understand, but we need to admit first that you guys are that you guys remove the calendar to support your now claim that the VIP list is due on the 6th. So she finally confessed. I said, well, thank you for confessing to your wrong. Anyway, that was that. We still had issues with the video. The constant asking, are you sure? Yes, I want the video. What? So I already knew that was a problem. So, okay, so now it's time to go to Fashion Week. They were saying that they wanted all designers. First of all, I had major imposter syndrome because somebody when I had got to Fashion Week, um, they were separating us out into designers and, and um, models, and then they were like, "Designers, please step forward." I'm standing there like, and the girl was like, "You," and I was like, "Oh," wait. and in my head, I'm like, "I'm not a designer. I just sell clothes." <laughs> like, no sis, you're a designer, and I was like, "Wow, that's weird to call myself a designer." And then somebody was like, "But did you?" Like, and I was like, all right, you're right. I'm a, I'm a designer. It was just weird to call me, like, who am I? I'm, anyway, so um, they were telling the designers, we would prefer if you guys can come down, be here by September 3rd in order to select your models to um, this, that, and the third, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, baby, I work. And my mom is dead. And, huh? <laughs> mind you i had no hotel yet no flight book yet and where it was like it was like the second week of august and i was like god you're gonna have to ooh, ooh, you're gonna have to do something all right something because i'm registered to have my clothing line walk but we don't have no flight and we don't have no hotel so and they're like yeah come down on the third the standard third so i'm like okay 
I'm gonna leave it to God. Why my Instagram started blowing up? I don't know if it's because they sent it to the models. Instagram started blowing up in DMs. I, every day I was getting maybe like 10 or 12 messages, DMs from models. Hey, I would like to walk for your line. I'll be here on this day. Um, can I walk for your line this day and the third? So I was looking through the DMs and to be honest with you, I did first come first serve but some models I didn't select based on the look that I was going for that I needed for that my my um, runway look. So I'm sitting there, I'm looking through, I'm picking. I'm like, oh, this is such a blessing because I can do a couple more days at work and then I'll miss that week of work and then go back and have to work the following week to make up the days that I missed. So it works out. So I didn't get to New York until... I got to New York on the 5th, the night of the 5th, mind you, lugging three suitcases by myself. We're going to talk about that boy, by myself. Um, Crying and lugging the suitcases by myself because I miss my mom. So, and then on top of that, I'm afraid to fly. And normally every time I was about to get on a plane, my mommy would call me and she'd be like, I know you're scared to fly, but there's nothing to be afraid of. Mommy loves you. And that day that I was flying, she couldn't call me to say, don't be afraid. It was a whole emotional. Anyway, so we get we get there. September 6th, <laughs> we had to do a run through at the actual location. So, you know me, I'm from Brooklyn. I took the train because I'm from Brooklyn. I know my places. I grew up in New York. So I was like, I'm, I I'm going to take the train. I ain't renting no car and waste money. So we get there. I get there and... I'm observing because I already knew they tried to play me. I'm observing, I'm observing, I'm observing. And then one of the designers goes up. I ain't gonna say to who, but I knew who she was. And I started watching how she moved and watching what she said to people. Designer goes up and he's like, um, I already submitted my video, but I just wanna know like, is like, can my models come out after one minute? And I'm listening, but she doesn't know who I am, but I'm listening. Um, but I wasn't up close to see them, but I was, I want to say I was probably like five feet away, but I can still hear what, what he was saying. I, and I know the designer's name specifically, but I won't say. So she goes, um, there's really no intro max. Like your models can walk at whatever time, as long as they're off the stage by the designated time that we gave you per piece that you're having walk on the runway. I was like, so why y'all fighting me? about my intro so i didn't say nothing i was like you know we're gonna play by the rule because at the end of the day my story and my message is gonna get across another designer came up and asked the same question and she's like no there's no there's no max as long as you know your models fit within that time span from the time that you're allotted on the runway and if you watch the models walk down the runway it takes like 45 seconds per model to walk down and back easy you don't even i didn't even need a full seven minutes easy for them to walk down and back and pose and walk back total down and back 45 seconds right so now at this point i'm moody now because i'm like y'all trying to play me and i don't know if it's because of this or if it's because of the message i'm portraying but y'all trying to play me so I ain't saying nothing. I let it rock and I was like, it's cool. So we did the run through. They showed us where our models were supposed to be at. They started in third, blah, 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 blah. My only issue, only, there were many issues. My other issue was they didn't show us or inform us that once the models go do their hair and makeup, which is down the block, it's not even in the same building. What I felt like they should have done was rent the hotel that's literally next door, but it's connected to the venue. Now you can take the elevator downstairs and upstairs to the hotel. They have a space in the hotel where the models could have got their hair, their hair and um, makeup done. They chose not to do that there. They have my models walking a block. It was like a block and a half to the venue after they got their hair and their, their their hair and their makeup done. And I was like, this is this is sad. 
all that money. You mean to tell me you couldn't run up? So I was like, okay. So the day of the runway, I told my models to meet me at like nine something because I, I still wanted to do fittings because some models had shows the day before. So I was like, just meet me at 9 a.m. that day and um, I'll figure out how to do fittings where we're at. Mind you, I ain't call nobody to get no permission. I was just like, look, meet me and we're going to make it happen. So models met me there um, and I asked them where I could put a suitcase so that, you know, we can do some fittings. I'm winging it. I'm just trusting God at this point because you wasn't supposed to do fittings where they were getting their hair and their makeup done. But I was like, I'm just going to do it and act like I know. So <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to act like I know that they could. So I got, I, we get there and let's see, walking by faith. I get there and I just lug my big old suitcase in there and I'm like, hey, um, where can I do my fittings for my models? Mind you, I ain't asked nobody. I ain't get no permission. I'm just acting like I know. The guy goes, oh, well, you can go downstairs. Um, there's a little area downstairs where you can do it. Or you can go all the way downstairs in the um, women's bathroom. But he's like, that bathroom is um, is unisex. And I was like, that's fine. Put me in the bathroom. But I was like, that's three floors down. You guys do not have an elevator. Can you help me? So he helped me down the stairs. Big old luggage suitcase. So we do that. Actually, I had to have... I had two suitcases and one carry bag because my carry bag had stuff in it that I needed for myself. So he helps me downstairs. We do that. Then, <sighs> ghetto as it is, I'm having my models come downstairs to try on their outfits for the runway. They come and try it on. I come back out and I'm like, where's the venue? Because now I'm outside with a big suitcase. Where's the venue? They're like, oh, the venue is a block and a half down. You have to walk. Who gotta walk? Who who so I said, is anybody able to help me walk across the street? Down the block, across the street. Will somebody help me walk. Mind you, it's raining, pouring. And I'm like, my models have to walk in the rain after they get their hair done. Even if they have an umbrella. Y'all didn't have the audacity to put these models in the same building or next to in the hotel that's connected to the venue where you had the designers getting the models ready to have at least makeup and hair done so they're not in the rain. I ain't saying that I was all right, cool. Some This guy, this Indian guy, he helped me and he walked with me to um, the venue, right? And then they're like, um, you're going to go upstairs in the hotel, just take, because um, the way that it was, it had like a, like a covered part. So he was like, um, yeah, just go that way. So we went up, took the elevator. He helped me, and then we went and we got dressed. From the time that we got dressed, it was beautiful because. And then they give you your own assistant. So when you have your own assistant, you um, they iron your clothes for you. Let me tell you how I was like, you're gonna iron the clothes, great. I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna go get ready <laughs> in the in the main bathroom, public bathroom, where everybody's seeing me get ready before they even know anything. So um. The assistant ironed the clothes. My models were coming in one by one. They came in to change. And I was downstairs getting ready. Um, Tay came with her girlfriend, which I have to do another video about that. We're going to have to have a part two because this is too long. Um, so Tay came. She helped me with the models. Um, she helped me get dressed. I'm going to show you that as well in another video, part two. And y'all, it was amazing. It is going in and out. But it was amazing it was amazing it was amazing stay tuned for part two because woo! stay tuned